All right, everybody, so we've got some really cool stuff to show you today. What just showed up, which has been waiting here for a little bit, we've got our syringe. And what this bad boy is for is vaccinating pigeons. We're going, yeah, you heard me right. We uh, all do it for our dogs. We know that vaccinations are important and uh, we're gonna do it for the pigeons. We've got all of our homing birds caught up and ready to go. And I'm gonna get vaccines ready to rock. And then what we're gonna do is a quick play-by-play. -play. I will show you how we're actually doing it, how we're giving that vaccine. And then from there, uh, you can just watch us roll through all of the birds, making sure everybody gets their vaccines today. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about how that looks. Follow along and after we finish vaccines, we're gonna be, whoa, I'm losing some papers. Ho, 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 stop, stop, stop. After we finish, <laughs> After we finish the vaccines up, I'm gonna actually be building our breeding cages out. And those breeding cages are going to be used in the new loft, which is gonna be coming very soon. But I'm running out of time before I head to South Dakota. So what I'm gonna do is put my new birds in those breeding cages while I'm up there. They've got a little more one-on-one -on -one time, help make sure everybody's staying healthy and good to go. And we're gonna show you what those look like. Follow along. All right, folks, so we have here our, today we're gonna to be vaccinating with PMV and paratyphoid, which would be essentially salmonella. Um, there are several different types of salmonella. This would be one of the more common ones. And what I've got actually is this really sweet action. Here it is, yep. It's really sweet action. Uh, let's do lots of vaccines. It's really easy to twist the needle on and off for changing that between pigeons. And it is a controlled little one vaccine for each because these bottles have all of our vaccines and sitting on the ice pack while we are outside in the shade, keeping it the way that it should be. But what we're gonna end up doing is showing you here a couple of them. And then also last but not least, I've got uh, chlorhexidine for some disinfectant right there where we're gonna be giving each vaccine. We're gonna roll through all of the homing pigeons here that we use for training, and we're gonna show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Da, 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 da. Okay, right here will be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna show this here, right? We got the bottle, got a little topper on that. We're gonna peel that bad boy back. And we've got the rubber portion showing. And that is going to get right in here. And then that clips in beautifully. And then these needles, which are 20 gauge, and they are half an inch long, just a little guy. They are real easy to twist on and off. I'm gonna have to prime this, I would guess. This would be the first time that I've used this, so there we go. Yep, so now I've got, we're gonna go ahead and one, there we go, that's perfect. I've got my quarter of a cc, we're gonna move right into the first bird. Go ahead and bring that over here, we'll get a quick little spray. Let me make sure we can see everything that's going on here. Yep. Okay, so right in here, I'm gonna go about shoulder height. I just read the instructions. Um, we've given a lot of vaccines to dogs. I've not actually done pigeons before. This is new to me, but I'm always about learning and doing things better. So we've got some skin exposed, chlorhexidine spray, and then Jess, if you wanna come over here and make sure that we're actually getting this on video, that would be fantastic. Take our needle off here. And then, can you see that? Yep, you can. Okay, so we're gonna pull the skin away. I can pinch the skin back and make sure that I'm not stabbing him in the neck. We're gonna go right in there, vaccine given. And then our next vaccine is ready to go. It's that simple. Perfect. Good job. Yep, so if we're right in this, keep an eye kind of right in front of this and we'll just roll right through these here. Got it. Okay. Get 
to the skinny skin skin. Out of the way. Nope, that's it. Cool. The homers have never looked so healthy. They look really good. Get new needles on here. Gotta get to some skin. Gotta get to some skin. Now, we have to do each of these vaccines independently of each other. So we will be doing, first we are doing the uh, P... PMV vaccine. And that's it. That's that simple. All right, let's go ahead and just roll, baby. So we have finished, let me get this needle off of here. All right, so we have finished all of the birds PMV vaccines. What I'm gonna show you again is the changeover. Just pulling this straight up off of there. I'm gonna put that back here. And we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the paratyphoid or salmonella. I'm gonna clear that. I don't believe there's anything else I have to do. Uh, we will clean this after the fact, but again, we're gonna take this top portion here off. And that rubber portion goes right into here. And you just push that straight down till it snaps into place. And then I'm going to Maybe I need the needle on for it to get. Yeah, we got a new needle here. There we go. A little pressure. There we go. Now we've got a full dosage of quarter cc. All right, go ahead and grab our next bird here, and I'm going to do just a little closer look at this again. And then, folks, we're going to leave you with that. All right, so we're going for round two here. All right, so finding skin, shoulder height here. Spraying with just a little bit of the chlorhexidine. I have to do that again here. Okay, so now we're gonna pull that skin away. So here it's flat against the bird. We're gonna pull that away. And then we will go in under the skin, give the vaccine and then out. It is that simple. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is roll through all of these bad boys again. They'll all be getting their salmonella vaccines and then that will be all that they need for the time being. Now, processes with this, they'll need a booster, typically with young birds, which is what we're gonna be doing moving forward. Our birds are gonna get vaccines at six weeks. They're gonna get this combo. And then at eight weeks, they're gonna get the pox vaccine. And then again, at 10 weeks, they will get their booster of this combo and then that will be it for 12 months. Um, there are some people that say the salmonella can be done uh, twice a year, kind of depends on what your individual area is and what you guys are struggling with, but we'll probably be sticking with uh, once a year for now. And we're gonna go ahead and roll through these and then I'll be right back with you as we move into setting up those new breeder boxes. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.